God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering for me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. You alone I, I have, have grieved, grieved by, by my sin. sin. Have, have pity, pity on, on me, me o, o Lord. Lord. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night, without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Truly we, we know, know our offenses, offenses Lord, Lord, for, for we, we have sinned, sinned against, against you. you. The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, devoted to us as a Father, you created us as a sign of your power, and elected us, your people, to show your goodness. Accept the thanks your children offer, that our all men may enter into your courts, praising you in song. The Lord is, is God, God, we are his, his people, people, the, the flock, flock he shepherds. You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy face like the hypocrites. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has, he has raised, raised up, up for us a mighty Savior, born, born of the house, the house of, of his servant, servant David. David. Through his, his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would he save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set, set us free from, from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine, shine on those who dwell, dwell in darkness, darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide, and to guide our, our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. When you fast, do, do not, not put on a gloomy face like, like the hypocrites. hypocrites. Today, God, our Father, brings us to the beginning of Lent. We pray that in this time of salvation, he will fill us with the Holy Spirit. Purify our hearts and strengthen us in love. Let us humbly ask him. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. May we be filled and satisfied. By the word that you give us. Teach us to be loving not only in great and exceptional moments, but above all in the ordinary events of daily life. May we abstain from what we do not really need. And help our brothers and sisters in distress. May we bear the wounds of your son. For through his body he gave us life. For these things and the th others we hold in our heart, we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead, lead us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian servant, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.